Rudy is an alcoholic. I, I read more books about the Trump administration than anyone should, and every book brings up his alcoholism. Rudy was ripped election night, and nobody can recall a day he didn't reek of liver disease. Forget counting the vote. I want to see Rudy count backwards from 10. Here's the important thing to remember. Rudy was Trump's attorney because, not in spite of, but because of his drinking problem. Trump finds liquor on someone's breath very comforting because it's the only thing he ever smelled when his mother or any woman told him they loved him. Do you realize how different the past eight years would be if Donald heard the words, I love you, from one woman, not reeking of three-day-old scotch, cigarettes, bulimia vomit, and Percodan. Just one woman saying, I love you, not reeking of three-day-old scotch, cigarettes, bulimia vomit, and Percodan. Yeah, Rudy Giuliani is a drunk. In 20 years, he's gone from 9-11 to 7-7, seven and seven, from comb over to hungover, and that's why Trump keeps using him, because Rudy's a drunk. The key to success in Washington or corporate America is being compromised, and Rudy is compromised. He's a drunk. You're less of a threat and easier to control. The people in charge don't want an independent thinker who can't be contained. You want to move up in Hollywood, Washington, academia, any place where it's about power and control, pretend you're a drunk. Pretend you have a secret sex life. Make them believe there's dirt on you. You can run the world if the people who really run it think they can put a manila envelope in front of you with some compromising photographs and you'll do what you're told. That's my advice to young kids starting out. Forget the MBA, forget law school, go to work and pretend you're a filthy, disgusting person. Your boss will ask you to marry his daughter. That's how Rupert Murdoch operates. He hires broken down people. Nobody would ever hire Sean Hannity. Maria Bartiromo was through. She came to Fox News after CNBC because she was out of options. That's how you control costs. Only hire desperate people. It's how you keep them working for you on the cheap. All of Rupert Murdoch's employees at Fox News are automatically tainted the second they walk through those doors. Where else are they going to go? I don't care how much Greg Gutfeld makes for Fox. Where is he going to go? Who would hire Greg Gutfeld other than Fox News? He's permanently stained. He can't negotiate a contract. Megyn Kelly tried. She left. She left Fox News for NBC. Within five seconds, she was fired for saying something about blackface. Nobody is ever going to hire anybody if they work for Fox News. That's how Rupert keeps his costs down. His staff knows they're tainted. They're not going to ask for uh, raises.